Hello everyone. In the last session, we have created a form for uh, based on the student table. Okay, I can show you. Okay, this is the form. Now we have navigation buttons. But if you want to enter a new city, new country, or new grade, then either you can open the table, which is not the correct way. So what we'll do? We'll create individual forms. Click on city, create form. So city form is created. Definitely you can change the format later on. We'll give a name as we have suggested the prefix FRM to identify yes. This is a form for city. Click on country, create form. FRM country. Grade. Click on form. Press yes, save. FRM grade. So now we have four forms and we have four tables. Now as soon as the database opens, which form should be open? If you say student form, then how you navigate to city form, country or grade. So what we will do, we will create a menu form, go to create, blank form. Okay, blank form is there now, go to design view. Okay, click on design. This is a command button. We'll create a command button. Form operations. Open form. Click next. Select FRM student. Open the form and show all the records. Next. We'll put text. Okay, we'll say like this add added student records. CMD FRM student. So this command button will be distinguished by its name that okay, this is a command button for FRM student. Create another command button. Form operation, open form, city, You can set like this, add added cities, CMD FRM city because it will open city form. Repeat the same step for other forms also. Country, next, put the text, add, add it countries CMD FRM country and last is for the grade open form grade show records add edit grades CMD FRM create and finish. This will give it a little bit format. Show test in line left. Keep it in the middle. We'll put a label. Format center okay. just on one line. Of course, ultimately you can increase the width of the form as well. Bold italic. Okay, this one automatic color, and then these are the buttons. To open and close the form. Now we'll create another command button to quit the application. Click on application, quit application. Press next. You can keep uh, this sign also if you want to have 
more pictures or icons so I will click on exit or exit told me CMD name it CMD exit okay so this is our form now I'll show you this one. how will it look like we we'll give it FRM main form name is FRM main now run this form form view add edit student record add edit cities countries grades click on this one so the student record the student form is open add city city form is open countries and grades now one thing sometimes this form is referred to a splash form as soon as you open the application so this form should be opened what we will do for that now save go to design view go to properties form go to others pop up yes make it yes now you will see how it look like okay that's great so this form is opening like this okay now we don't need to have this record selector go to property sheet format and moreover we don't need navigation buttons also form so this is this is the form the okay, caption still appearing frm main we'll go to design view property sheet format and caption so you can give it a name main form or startup screen you no, this is how it does look like so definitely you can change the format whatever you want as per your desires you can open the form okay we have created this form so on this exit button exit means it will close the application open again now you can see the form our main form is still not opening so go to file options current database application title you can give it icon also you can put now display form currently set to none we select frm main press ok close the database open again now you can see automatically the main form is appearing so now you can add and it records cities countries okay now see the effect once you click on this one what's happening that the student form is open but now either you need to close this form or minimize it so minimized okay now you can carry on work but what we want we want to have that once we click on this form it should be closed automatically and then we need to have but then to open main form we need to have some button here so what we'll do go to design view create a command button form operation open form FRM main let's select home button mm -hmm. Okay, home button is here. CMD FRM main. Okay, now this button is there, and definitely you can you can adjust the position of this button. Okay, bring it here. Okay, this home button here. There is one more catch. I'll be showing to you. Okay, we click this one, close this form, click this button, now it is open the main form. But again, the behavior of the student form is because the student form is still open. What we need to do now, if we click this one, so student form should be closed from the background. Vice versa, if on the main form, if we click any button, so it should close the main form. How do we achieve this? Go to design view. 
click on the home button go to property sheet click on event embedded macro is here click here to edit the macro select run menu command and delete this one go to control okay command what should what is the command the command is close window now be careful first the close window close window means that it will affect on the student form if you keep like this that first it will open the frm main then automatically it will close the same main form so it should be the sequence of command should be like this now in close window the student form will be closed and then later on the menu form will be opened let's have a look how does it behaves now okay, click on home form yes now you can see now click this one now the frame main form is not getting closed so we'll open the main form click on this button go to property sheet edit macro run menu command close window and change the sequence okay, now we'll close all the forms We'll open again the database. Okay, now our database is open. Click on student record. So you can see student form is open. Now student form go to home or the main page, uh, main form. Sorry, it will close the student form. So this the same macro you can apply on all buttons. This is for this session how to create a main form, how to create navigation buttons. Open a form and then close a form with that open a new form if you have any comments please let me know i'll be happy to help you out